Now that we understand how pages, blocks, and widgets work, it's time to move on to something that you've probably been waiting for, creating a proper home page. The way you do this is on the back end of your Magento site, go to content and pages. You'll see that we already have a home page here. So we'll click select and edit. And this is where we configure our home page. First, we're going to open the content group here. And the very first thing we're going to do is if we go back and look at our homepage, there's really no sense in this saying homepage at the top. It's pretty obvious what that is. So I recommend in most cases, removing the content heading and we're just going to leave it blank. You can put something here, but that really just kind of depends on what you want for your store, what your preferences are. Down here in this text area, this is where the bulk of the customization is going to occur in regards to what you're putting on your homepage. The short version of how to customize your homepage is just to put everything you want in here. So let's see how to do that. First, let's get rid of that stock dummy content. And we'll say, welcome to Coffee Bean Central. Be sure to check out our newest products. Now, of course, you probably don't just want some static text here. Thankfully, we also have the ability to add widgets here. Let's go down a line and we'll click this button in the WYSIWYG editor, the insert widget button. And we can choose any of these types of widgets. We're going to go with catalog new products list. We're going to say that on our homepage, we're expecting people to want to view new products, or at least that's the thing that we would most like to show them. For display type, we can do all products or new products. Now this can be a little bit confusing because we chose new products up here. So what is this asking for exactly? All products and new products on the display type refers to whether you want products to show up that only those that are marked explicitly as new products. In other words, if you remember, when we create a product, we can set a date range that the product is considered new. If we select new products here, then when this widget displays products, it will only show products that are currently marked as new. In our case, we don't want that. There are plenty of cases where you might want to do that. But in our case, we just want to show all products, but they're going to be the most recently added ones. We can display a page control. If we say yes, then we'll have the option to page over to the next page of the most recently added products. For a home page, that's usually not necessary. You just want a set number of products on the home page and then let the user just browse whatever they want. Again, it's going to vary from store to store, but we're going to keep this at no. There's not going to be any paging. Then we're going to set the number of products to display. We'll just keep this at 10. I don't believe we even have 10 total products. So that's not going to really make a big difference, but obviously whatever number you put here, that's the number of products that it's going to show. We can choose our template, products grid template, products list template, a few other things. I'm going to keep products grid template. That tends to be the most attractive looking. It gives a picture, it gives a description, it gives the customer the most information they want. That's more likely to lead them to a potential purchase. And then we're not going to worry about cash lifetime here. That's slightly more advanced. But basically, this determines how long the cache for this widget is saved. In other words, so that the widget is not updated more frequently or less frequently than you want it to. It has a default value that we're not going to get into. We're going to stick with the default, which is in most cases just fine. Then we're going to click Insert Widget. And now we could do multiple widgets if we want. We can go down and add some more text uh, and add more widgets. But we're just going to keep things simple and just show the newest products. If we ever want to go back and change something in this widget, we can of course delete it and start over or we can double click it to bring back up all the settings. But I'm going to close this out because there's nothing else that we need to change. If we scroll down to design, we could also change the layout of our homepage if we want. But we're not going to worry about that either. We're not going to worry about finding blocks to add here and things like that. We're just going to keep this as a one column layout. So as you can see, you can get pretty creative with the homepage and do basically whatever you want within reason to customize your store's homepage. We are keeping things relatively simple just for demonstration purposes. 
Once you have all of this, go ahead and click Save Page. And since we just saved the content of a page, we shouldn't have to clear the cache or anything like that. So now we can go back to the front end of our website, refresh on our home page. And doesn't that look better than just a blank home page that says CMS homepage content goes here? We've got a nice little message at the top. Of course, even this is optional. Welcome to Coffee Bean Central. Please be sure to check out our newest products. And then we have a very nice looking grid display of the most recently added products on our website.